Okay, so in this video, we're going to start talking about uh, right triangle trigonometry. And uh, where we start is with the definitions of the trig functions of acute angles. So remember, in a right triangle, uh, we'll just go ahead and draw a right triangle. So in a right triangle, you have this right angle here. And you also have two other angles, and they're both acute. So remember, acute means between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, or 0 radians and pi over 2 radians. So let's call this guy theta. Okay, this is going to be our theta. And remember, uh, in an earlier video, we talked about if this is theta, um, then this is going to be the opposite side, this is the adjacent side, and that's the hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and write that down. So we'll call this OPP for opposite uh, ADJ for adjacent, and then this will be uh, HYP for hypotenuse. Okay? So as long as you have a right triangle with theta over here, this is always the opposite side, this is always the adjacent side, and this is always the hypotenuse, as long as theta is over here. Okay. But for this particular triangle, and to make things simpler for us, let's call this A, and this B, and this C. Okay. So now let's go ahead and define these uh, trig functions. So we're going to talk about uh, these six trig functions here, and the first one we're going to talk about is uh, the sine of theta. Okay. So let's zoom in a little bit here. So the sine of theta, which is denoted sin theta, uh, and that equals opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, so the sine of theta is defined to be the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Okay. Um, which for this particular triangle is going to be B over C. Okay, so the sine of theta is always the opposite divided by the hypotenuse um, if you're talking about right triangles. Uh, but for this particular triangle, it's B over C. Okay, B over C. So that's the sine of theta. Uh, what we want to talk about now is the cosine of theta. So the cosine of theta is next. And that is denoted COS of theta. And uh, that's defined to be the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So that's what the cosine of theta is. That's adjacent over the hypotenuse. So if you're wondering about these, where do these come from? Why are these the way they are? Um, these are really just definitions. Okay, so there's no proof or anything behind uh, anything like that behind them. Uh, they're just definitions. There is some history there, but we don't want to get too hung up on that. Um, but anyway, cosine of theta is always the adjacent over the hypotenuse in a right triangle. And for this particular triangle, that's A divided by C, adjacent over hypotenuse A over C. Okay? So next is the uh, tangent uh, the tangent of theta. Okay, so the tangent of theta uh, is denoted. TAN tan theta, and that's equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side, which in this case is B over A. So the tangent of theta is always uh, opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. And again, for this particular triangle, that's uh, B over A. B over A. Okay, so here's uh, three of the six trig functions we're going to talk about. So there's three more. Uh, let's set aside some room here. So let's bring these up uh, in this order. So the cosecant is what we'll talk about next. The cosecant. Zoom in a little on that. So C O S E C A N T. The cosecant of theta. And that is denoted CSC of theta. And the cosecant is defined to be the hypotenuse divided by the opposite side. Okay, so the cosecant is the hypotenuse over opposite. Uh, so here's theta. The cosecant of theta is the hypotenuse divided by the opposite. Uh, which for this particular triangle is C over B. Okay, so this is going to equal 
uh, for this particular triangle is C over B. Okay. All right. Uh, next is the uh, secant. So this here is the cosecant. The next one is the secant. So the secant of theta. And that is denoted SEC of theta. And that uh, is defined to be the hypotenuse divided by the adjacent side. Okay, so the secant of theta, if here's theta, uh, then the secant of theta is defined to be the hypotenuse divided by the adjacent side. So that's uh, C over A. For this particular triangle, C over A. That is a C over A. All right. And now uh, one last trig function to talk about, or to define for this video. So the cotangent is the last one here. So the cotangent uh, of theta. So that's an E right there, cotangent. OK. Um, and the cotangent is denoted cot, C-O-T of theta, cot, uh, and it's defined to be the adjacent side divided by the opposite side. So the cotangent of theta, if this is theta right here, then the cotangent is the adjacent side divided by the opposite side, which for this particular triangle is A over B. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that down. So the cotangent of theta is the adjacent side divided by the opposite side. And for this uh, particular triangle that we drew and labeled, that's uh, A over B. Okay. Adjacent over opposite is A over B for this particular triangle. Okay, so these are the six trig functions here, and this is how uh, to define them in terms of acute angles and right triangles. So let's uh, zoom out here. Okay, so what do we have? We have uh, sine and cosine, tangent and cotangent, secant and cosecant, so it might look kind of weird the way we organize this chart, but notice uh, there are some relationships here, right? So the sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, and the cosecant of theta is uh, the reciprocal of that, right? Hypotenuse over opposite. So the cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, and likewise you'll see that uh, the secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Okay? So hypotenuse over adjacent is the secant, and the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we'll uh, explore that a little more uh, in the next video when we talk about some of the fundamental identities um, and relationships between these guys. So anyway, uh, again, I just want to point out that the sine of theta is always opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, but for this particular triangle, it's B over C, because that's just how we chose to label this. We chose to label this A, B, and C. But since theta is over here, this is always the opposite side. This is always the adjacent side. And that's always the hypotenuse, uh, no matter where theta is. Okay, so. Uh, Sine of theta is always opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is always adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is always opposite over adjacent. Uh, so there's a little, uh, what's called a mnemonic device that people use to uh, remember that. So the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. Okay. Sine opposite hypotenuse, cosine adjacent hypotenuse, uh, tangent opposite adjacent. So that's uh, so ka toa. Uh, some students like to use this uh, to help them remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, uh, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay. So if this helps you remember, go ahead and uh, totally use it, of course. But if not, then you know, just uh, completely disregard it, I guess. But anyway, I know a lot of students like to use this to help them remember. Uh, especially when they're first starting out. Okay. So this might seem kind of messy, kind of confusing. It's really not that bad. All we're doing here is just defining new functions. Just like uh, in pre-calculus, or in college algebra back in those days, uh, you talked about the natural log function. Okay, so uh, the natural log function is just a special type of function. Okay, well here's sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. They're just new types of functions that we're talking about. So just like the natural log function is a function, the sine of theta is just a function, right? Uh, the sine is a new function we're talking about. So that's really all there is to that. Um, and we'll start talking about the relationships between these functions uh, in the next few videos.